Hey guys, so I'm, I'm back with another video, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm sure as you're all aware right now, YouTube doesn't really help monetize your videos unless they are family friendly. So I'm gonna make a family friendly video for all you guys, just to see how well it goes. And I believe we're gonna have lots of fun in the process, so let's get started. Now the first step to making a family friendly video is to not have these things. Not have foul language, not to have sexual themes, not to have violence, not to have hate speech, and not to have politics. Um, we're not gonna have any of those in this video today. Instead, we're gonna have something that YouTube probably secretly wants from us, but isn't communicating very well because they don't really have very good communication skills, but I believe what YouTube secretly wants from us is positivity. Yes. All 100% positivity. But I guess in order to truly be family friendly, we gotta appeal to YouTube itself, the actual website. So we gotta do as much as we can to be family friendly for YouTube. Doesn't matter about anyone else. Now I'm sure that YouTube really, really loves memes, so let's take a look at one of them right now in the YouTube Rewind. Yeah, did you see that? It's the perfect meme. It's family friendly yet unpopular and nobody really likes it. We're not going to be using this poopy meme, I just wanted to show an example Rose. But we gotta appeal to YouTube itself, so uh, I'm going to need some help for this one. Hey Magma, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing okay, bit sick, but... Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. That's, uh... Hey, um, so, I just want to make a family-friendly video, and, um, I need your help with something, okay? YouTube is very interested in unfunny memes, and I decided to come up with one right out of the blue, so, um, how do you say friendly, f uh, family-friendly in German? Familienfreundlich. Familienfreundlich? Familienfreundlich. Familienfreundlich? Familienfreundlich. Familienfreundlich? Is that how you say it? I'm so- I- I don't want to mess it's, any- It's- It's- It's as close as you'll ever get. Familiar Fortlish. Okay. Thank you very much, Magma. You're welcome. Yeah, alright. See ya later. Family friendly. See ya. Familiar Fortlish. And after recording that part, I realized that I should have used Google Translate for that, but it's no secret that I'm a giant idiot. Remember, this is dedicated to you, YouTube, so, uh, yeah, I, I hope you appreciate it. And what I've noticed is that YouTube really loves Marvel superheroes and Frozen, most famously Elsa and Spider-Man. I mean, come on, guys, you can't really deny it. I Seriously, you, you really can't deny it. And in your video, if you have Elsa or Spider-Man, or preferably both, then you could probably get away with a few things here and there. So in order to 100% make sure that this video is family friendly, I'm going to make a border which ensures that this video gets monetized. I mean, make sure that everyone could enjoy it. We're ready to make our family friendly border, which is gonna be, I'm gonna use this for any family friendly video that I'm gonna make from this point onwards. And uh, there's gonna be a link in the description below <clears throat> uh, to the link of this border. Um, if you, if you want to use it. So anyways, let's, let's get started. I mean, you, I gotta <clears throat> figure, I gotta make a border, and I gotta figure out what I want to, which picture should I use? I mean, I don't know. There, there are lots of pictures. This is, um, yeah, this is, this is, uh, perfectly friendly, family friendly in every way. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Look, this is, uh, this is totally okay, guys. Elsa's in it. This is totally okay. See, Elsa baby is a bit different because, um, well, babies are cute, first of all, and, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, babies are cute. Babies are very, very cute. Yeah, that, this is, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is perfect. I mean, I mean, yeah, the, the, I promise, ooh, ooh, this is, uh, wow, um, I mean, I would definitely love to use that, but, uh, YouTube doesn't care about My Little Pony that much, so... I think that's enough Elsa pictures. What, we got, like, uh, uh four? Yeah, that's enough. <clears throat> so now we gotta... Now we gotta get Spider-Man. Okay, so here's Spider-Man. I mean, this is a... This is... This is typical. I, I just saw this one, and, uh, I, I... Yeah, I think that one looks good. Uh... View image. Oh, oh, very... Cool! Cool, 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 cool. Yes! Perfect. Ah, Legos. Legos are very good, too. Legos are family-friendly, and they're always positive. So, uh, yeah, let's use that. Oh. Uh, can I, can I, can I, oh. This video has been sponsored by Mega Blocks. Be sure to get them, uh, while they are still popular. I guess I'll take a low-res image, why not? Okay, so we're just about ready. 
to to make our border. So here, yeah, so there we go. Uh, uh, so far so good. I, I mean, we barely just started, but yeah, so far so good. We gotta we gotta give Elsa a lot of attention. Uh, we, we gotta make sure that YouTube sees Elsa in this, <clears throat> because they. They, they sometimes miss some information. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be complaining about how much uh, this is going to take up all the screen, most of the screen, but uh, I, it, to be honest, it should take up all the screen. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, we... Yes, this is... Th yeah, perfect. Just an FYI, guys, there are much more efficient ways to do this, but uh, I got to make sure that it's inefficient as possible, really. They got to make it harder on myself. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're, we're actually getting somewhere. And there you have it, everyone. This is the border. If you instantly want your video to be family friendly, then all you gotta do is put this border up, and you'll for sure definitely be able to have your video claimed as family friendly. Okay, so maybe it won't help you with everything, but it will at least give you a few sympathy points for a thing or two here, so... Uh, yeah, I think it should be good. And the family-friendly part of the video hasn't been done yet. This was just the preparation to the family-friendly video. So, we should probably get to that. But before we get started on that, I think now is a good time to talk about my sponsors. I already mentioned that my first sponsorship is Megablocks earlier in this video. So, yeah, I just want to talk about them a little bit first. Currently, they're running a giveaway, and the winner actually gets a Megablocks First Builders playset. In order to enter this giveaway, all you gotta do is like the video and subscribe to me, and you're instantly... And if you're not interested in the Mega Bloks playset, it also comes with the thousand dollar iTunes gift card. So be sure to like and subscribe in order to get your first builder's Mega Bloks play. And I also have a second sponsor, the name is Equestria Daily. I'm just kidding, they don't even know me. My actual sponsorship goes to friendlyforyoutube.edu. It's a great website full of family-friendly games. Not only does it include Elsa in it, but it also includes My Little Pony and some Cartoon Network games to boot. My Little Pony one is my favorite though. So if you go on the website right now and enter the code TRITRIT in there, you get 20% off on every game that you purchase. Alright, that's enough of that, now back to the actual video. Well, time for me to border up. And it's time for me to give you the list of things that I'm not supposed to do so that you don't get any wrong ideas. No, 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 that's too easy. That's, that's way too easy. So there's this amazing article. It's called 10 Reasons Why Hitler Was One of the Good Guys. And before anyone jumps to any conclusions that this is not going to be family friendly, keep in mind that everything on this list is not going to be violated. Well, maybe minorly violated, but that's what this border is for. And this is all going to be 100% positivity. There's going to be no negative things about him. No matter what amount of destruction he had observed done by the Jews to his people, he had enough self-discipline and ethical code not to take revenge. Being a strong character, he was able to rise above darkness, the demonic standards of the Judaic mindset, and show self-restraint and humility. That is why he created containment work camps for the Jews. And certainly not because he was one of the good guys. That, that was beautiful. Familian Foytlish. Unbeknown to billions of people, the Nazi camps were not dead. They were simply containment camps. Something that had to be done with these destroy- Something had to be done, and Hitler did do something. He placed all Jews in containment camps to allow Journey to breath again. But, this is the key point in this essay slash piece. He did it in a way which was ethical. The camps had decent sufficient food, bearing in mind this was wartime. They had theaters, swimming pools, football pitches, post offices where inmates could communicate to the outside world, kindergartens, art and music recreation, and even pro quality section within the camps was paramount and that's why inmates' clothes were regularly deloused with psychomply gas. Because he was one of the good guys. Many historians claim he was a vegetarian. I believe this is kind of true. He was a pe pe pes pescatarian. Yeah. But whether this it is or not, the point he had clear connection and affection for his fellow creatures. I'm not suggesting just because he may have been a veggie that therefore he was a good person, but this was a man of compassion that he recognized the importance of compassion in society. He had so much affection for his German shepherds, he bans all animal experimentation. <laughs> Wait, 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 it's not encouraging violence, so that makes it okay. Ricketsizing it to be evil. Hitler could see the connection between all life forms. This is his level of consciousness, respect for nature, animals, and human life. Because he was one of the good guys. 
Family and Fort. I mean, based on what I've read so far, Hitler sounds like a good guy. If you want to hear some more good things about Hitler, then please be sure to take a look at the description below. We just hit the 10 minute mark, so I don't really have any reason to continue. But before we end this episode, let's solidify the positivity trope of this article by taking a look at the comments section. This is a very brave piece of writing. Thank you, Digger. I suspect you could write quite a large book on this subject, as you are well versed. I look forward to doing some further research. So true with what you said about Mean Camp. I have been reading it for about a month now and find it difficult to go through at times. Adolf Hitler is my hero. Sometimes I cry for him. He just wanted to make the world a better place. No, ever. I also cry for Hitler. Everyone dies for great. Great ghost. Thanks, us, me. I've got to say this, right? There's so much positivity in this room, it's unreal. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you very much. Thank Michael. you. Did you enjoy this video? Of course you did it. This one wasn't made for you. But if you somehow managed to actually do enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe. And uh, as a bonus, you could get the Mega Bloks playset that I mentioned earlier. And I have to give a quick shout out to Magma. Not only did he have to deal with my idiocy, but he's the one who gave me the article in the first place. So, uh, yeah, please be sure to check him out. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.